In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create slot together 3D butterflies, just like these, right within Xtool Creative Space. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a butterfly. If we open the shape panel and go down to Animal and open that, if we look down here, there's a nice solid butterfly. If we just choose that, I'm going to resize this to be about 100 millimeters wide. You can choose any size you like. And I'm going to align center. And then I'm going to put onto the score process. From there, we can ungroup and delete this part here. And we're actually only going to work with half of the butterfly. So if we select the butterfly and choose edit, there's a point in the center at the top and a point in the center at the bottom. So we just need to select all the points to the right of that and click delete. From there, we can choose this node here and choose asymmetry and that lets us move these handles independently and if we drop that over the point it disappears and we need a nice straight line so we just need to do the same choose asymmetry choose this handle here and drop it over the point that gives us a nice straight line to work with then we're going to need a rectangle to extend this part here. So if we go somewhere near, there's no snapping in X tool, which is a shame, but we'll just work with it. And we're going to click and drag and make a rectangle. And I'm going to just zoom in. And with it deselected, I'm going to try and drag from the point here and drop it over so it's somewhere close at the top. And if I go to the bottom, if we select it, I'm going to unlink the aspect ratio so we can move the height independently. And I'm going to drag that so it's somewhere close at the bottom. From there, we're going to need a slot here, so they slot together. So I'm going to use three millimeter material and I want about four millimeters on this side. So I'm actually going to choose a width of 7.1. So I'll have a, a slot, which will be 3.1 millimeters, just to give a little bit of extra wiggle room. I'm going to copy and paste and move this over. I'd also like rounded corners here and here, but there's no easy way to do this in X tool. The only way to do that is to go up here and choose rounded corners, which rounds off each corner. So if I choose two, and then if we go to edit and zoom in, we can select both of these points and align to top and make sharp. Then we can delete this one. And then we can do the same with the bottom. Choose these two, align to bottom, make sharp and delete. So this is what we're left with. That's what we want. We just need a slot in here at the top and a slot in here at the bottom. So we have the right height with this. We just need 3.1 millimeter wide. And we're actually going to need half the length. So that would be about 21.58. And if we click off, we can do the same thing, click and drag and try and drop it on this point here. Just like that. We're actually going to need the same for the bottom. So I'm going to copy and paste that and try and drag this corner here. I'm going to move that and try again. There. We just need these to be the same here. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to select these two, go to the layers panel and turn the visibility off. And I'm going to move this down using the arrow keys. And what we can do next is decide what we're going to have in these wings. Now you can have them solid or you can fill them with a pattern or add shapes of your own. So for this, I'm actually going to copy and paste and move one to the side. 
then we can select everything and choose Unite. This joins everything up. And now, if we bring those two rectangles back, we can make a copy of this and move this over. And we can also use the mirror function and reflect horizontally, just like that. So I'm going to delete the bottom one off this one and the top one off this one. And then making sure that the aspect ratio is unlocked, we can click and drag this up and we can click and drag this one down. And then we can use the subtract function and this just makes sure the rectangle is on top of the butterfly shape. So if we select both, we just use subtract. And that gives us a nice slot to slot together. And I just want to jump in quickly to say if you need any professionally drawn high quality designs, then please check out my Etsy store and Design Find store. I've got hundreds of designs and there's literally something for everyone. So please check them out. Links in the description below. And back to the video. Now, uh, this would work as it is and be a nice solid butterfly, but we can also add decoration in. And we can also add in a pattern. So using this one, I'm going to go to offset inner by about four millimeters and choose confirm. Then we could go to the shape panel again and go down to pattern. And we need an interlocking pattern. So we could choose this one. And I'm going to scale that up just like that. And we're only actually going to use the inner of the butterfly. So you can align this however you want. So all we need to do is zoom in. If we select both and go to the layer panel, we just need to make sure the pattern is on top of the butterfly shape and then choose subtract. And then we get a pattern like this. Now we can copy and paste this. And if we choose a point such as this, we can drop that over there and delete the outside pattern. And then we can do the same for the other side, mirror this one, select this point here, drop it over and delete that. All we need to do then is select the pattern and release, and then select all this side and make compound. And then do the same on this side. Release, select everything, make compound. And to check everything looks correct, we put onto the engrave process. So this would be a patterned butterfly. And here's some examples of the butterflies you can make using this process. I'll put these on my Design Find store as a free download. So if you'd like these, just head over there and get them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.